Hello everybody, welcome back to my house video. I've actually decided on something that I was going to elongate the garage a little bit. Um, by about a foot. I was going to elongate it a whole foot. Reason being that um, I feel that when I park the car in here, it's a little close to the door. Now, I know this was actually something I should have thought about before I pulled up the walls and did the details and all. But I guess that really didn't... And it really slipped me. And, you know, it happens. It happens. Sometimes we have to see the house before we actually um, see what problems can exist when designing it. That's part of the reason why SketchUp is a very useful tool for me is because you don't always see things before, um, before you see it, you know. You don't see problems. You have to actually kind of play with it, build. You don't always see that using two dimensions but three dimensions is wonderful so what I'm gonna do is I want to elongate I want to elongate this piece here so yeah this sorry about this video it's more of a retraction video but I mean it also is gonna let you know that things happen you know this video also tells you I mean you're gonna see some things and I mean things happen so you're not gonna get it right always 100% of the time no matter how good you are no matter how good or bad you are. Um, I mean, I couldn't say anybody's bad or anything, but... Alright, so, I remember last time, whenever I was doing the garage... Alright, remember how I was talking about how to elongate things? You know, using this select tool up here? Let's see if it's recording, hopefully. Yeah, it's recording. So I see the select, you know? You select one end of the house, and then you bring it out, right? But I already I already showed you how that this method doesn't work here because of this. So I'm gonna have to show you how to elongate the long way. Get it? Elongate long way. Yeah, it's not that funny if you think about it. I mean, it's pretty dumb. So what I want to do is um, because you know obviously when you park a car and you know you also have to have space to walk around it. Um, so then this is just 19 foot five here. I don't know, let's just think about it. Um, let's bring this out a whole foot. Yeah, that would be nice. So then, um, we're a little less than that. You know, it doesn't need all that. But So what you'll do is you'll use this um, push-pull tool. And you see, whenever I did that once here, you don't have to keep clicking it in, just go, keep typing it in, just go here to your mouse, click twice, and it comes out for you to that last thing you have. It looks funny now, but I mean, you'll have to fill it in. Now, actually, you can, now that you got this out of the way, um, you take the roof off. This is a little trick that I developed. I'm coming up here, look top down view. I always put it in, um, okay, go to camera at the top, parallel projection. See, it's nice plan view. You just grab the side of the house, the corner of the house that you want to elongate. And notice how when a layer is turned off, you don't select anything from that layer. Unless you go to right click, you know, all connect, select all connected, and then it will. And then I now take it out of parallel projection by clicking back on it. One up to camera. As you can see, this it's just this selected, because when I put this on, this isn't selected here. So then we can take this off again for clarity and just bring it out however long you want to elongate. And see, that works perfectly. But you'll have to type this one in because um, it only works for that push pull tool um, when you double click. So now I got a nice and big garage. So I mean, I can put a car here and safely walk around it to get through the door because. I mean, for the driver, it'll be fine, but I mean, you have to there's, consider a passenger. And I mean, also, if you think about it, this car, there'll be a car here, and I mean, it'll be in front of the washer and dryer. I mean, like I said, you know, sometimes when you do things, you don't always think about it right there at first. And I mean, like I said, it happens. It happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in and fill in some of these holes. Actually, I want to go into the roof layer, file language window layers down here sorry 
roof and make sure this little thing is clicked all right so then now I just take this piece of roof here use the move tool and move it out isn't that cool isn't that cool move it out just however long you need to be and there you are you have one elongated garage so just bear in mind that this is what this is what you have to do um, when that typical method that I used before doesn't work. And I mean, hey, this works nice. And you still get, and it still looks nice too. So then, um, nothing looks awkward. And you also want to just go around and take a one last look at everything, making sure nothing is awkward. Because sometimes, you know, you have to make sure when you elongate, make sure it's straight. You'll notice by either um, a green, depending on what direction you're pulling it, when you're pushing it this way, you'll go with the green axis. If you're pushing it this way, you're going with the red axis. Make sure there's a dotted green line or a red line. Or if you're elongating upward, make sure there's a dotted blue line. So you know you're getting it right. Because if you're not, then it'll start cutting up these planes and um, your model's not gonna, it's not gonna look very good. And it'll be very, 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 very hard to work with. So I recommend um, just take this, you take precaution. All right, everybody, that was a short video, but it's just to tell you, show you that I was fixing a mistake that I made. Um, I hope you liked it. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, there will be more to come, and I'm almost done with this house. I'm so excited. And when this house is done, I'll put a link in the description showing. Um, showing where you can download this house and look at it yourself and it'll be all lots of fun all right everybody thank you for watching have a great night see you next video bye bye